the next topic is called that traffic safety management so what is the traffic safety you know that meaning of traffic clear so road safety is one of the most important factor or one of the most important problem we can say that or one of the most important issue in our india clear so it has an impact every world clear whether one drives a vehicle walks or rider cycle means traffic is one of the big, biggest health issue or biggest health uh, crisis in our country so road safety which is a multi sectoral and multi dimensional issue clear road safety is a multi sectoral and multi dimensional issue so road safety incorporates the development and management of the infrastructures of road provisions for safer vehicle law enforcement there are planning for mobility and hospital hospital service then provisions for health and hospital services child safety urban land use planning so there are all include in traffic safety management so that depends on the success of road strategy which is depend on support and action from stakeholder means participation participatory so that road safety which refers to adopt by everyone by using road this safety method are meant which is reducing the risk of accident and injuries and casualty on the road clear yeah. that's why traffic safety management is required which is reduce the risk casualty and accident on the road so that road safety involves highway design road design laws of pertaining to traffic and vehicles system of traffic safety and control driver education school students education mass education traffic regulation road safety sign vehicle design motor vehicle safety inspections and maintenance so there are total nine thing which are include road safety involves means that include a uh, traffic engineering highway engineering clear so this is a combinations of two subject we that you already studied in your previous year clear so what is the importance of road safety so there are some major causes of road accident first one lack of highway safety there are no proper safety or there are no uh, provisions for highway drunk and drive driving in exhausted state for long hours using cell phone while driving over speeding or rash driving driving in a wrong lanes turning without giving signal overtaking from wrong side so there are total eight reason which are the causes of accident clear and there are some collective responsibility of the government to take the action against them who break the road rule clear then a role of government and public sector so we can say that develop stricter road safety policy donate funds for road safety awareness stricter enforcement of rules by government building better roads and highways So there are total uh, four types of points which are included in role of government and public sector. The next one, what is the role of general community? Acceptance the rules of road regulations and policy which are enforced by the government. Participation in road safety awareness drives to enhance people knowledge about road safety. So individually participate in different types of campaign. clear which are based on traffic rules then what is the role of education sector inclusion of road safety modules in school curricula in this area impart road safety education with the help of expert impart effective driver training for learner as well as existing driver clear so there are total three role which is included by education sector and the next one what is the role of media that communicate road safety messages through the print and electronic media so you know that in radio uh, rj 
frequently say about that road safety rules wear helmet drive on proper lane uh, wear a seat belt so this is a how this is a uh, way of communications to transfer rules and regulation by the media support road safety initiative through responsibility and objective reporting The next one, Improvement Infrastructures Guidelines. So how can you improve that particular infrastructure of according to road? So there are some guidelines which are provided by the government. Adopt effective and safe traffic management measure while planning and designing infrastructure. Here, yeah. so you know that as per the highway design, there are lots of uh, IS codes are there which are uh, guideline how to uh, plan or how to design that particular national highway road, state highway road, clear. So that road safety authority should be installed at obviously national level as well as state level. So that, that policy and framework based on safe system approach, not to gain a higher amount of profit. So that particular uh, companies who construct a highway or road that think about that make a higher profit but it is wrong due to that there are uh, lots of casualty and injuries or accidents occur on highway due to improper design of highway so that appropriate policy and framework based on safe system approach you know that IRC, IRC means Indian Road Congress. There are codes of practice need to be updated regularly, which I already said that IRC has a different types of codes on the basis of design of hype. So there are IRC codes which are updated regularly, which is very useful to design highway, street, road, state highway, clear. Then after installation of road sign. Clear. You know that there are different points or there are different uh, distance. There are road signs which is provided to indicate there are bump ahead, there are uh, some narrow road, there are some rotary design. So this is very useful. There are some safety parameters of road and design standards should be evaluated continually. There are road safety consultants which are uh, hired by the government to check the road. Here, by the road safety consultant, uh, government ensure about that uh, design and the quality of that particular road. As I then said, that rating of road safety auditors and contractors should be conducted in regards to the level of experience expertise. So there are some improvement infrastructures guidelines as per the government then next one design of road here in india there are total 54,72,144 km roads are there here so that road which are uh, designed only keeping in mind all safety aspects but accident rate of the road accident are only increased day by day Clear. So, there are design of road divided in three types of categories. Road junctions, road maintenance and inadequate visibility. So, that road design which is obviously depend on the uh, locations of road, then traffic congestions, near about area means hospital, hospital areas, educational institutes, road dividers and road junctions. Then vehicle technology. So speed of the vehicle, which is the most dangerous thing, due to that most of the accident occurs due to that reason, because over speed, clear. There are some factors which are the speed of the vehicle, vehicle size and capacity, motor vehicles should be designed because one of the major reason of accident is vehicle design, clear. As per, you know that uh, due to improper of design, of vehicle, they may be over. Uh, it may be overturned, clear, or due to overspeeding, they can. Uh, it cannot control. 
so due to that the accident are occurred so uh, the vehicle design should be proper so what are the included in vehicle design that width height and length of vehicle there are size nature and conditions wheels of tires brakes lamps and reflectors warning devices the inspections of vehicles that are all thing which is included in vehicle technology the next one hurdles in road safety so what are the problems hurdles means problems or issue in road safety so that first one negligence by civilians means that citizens negligate or neg uh, neglect that particular rules pathetic conditions of roads means uh, the conditions of road which are not uh, good due to that accidents are occurs unsafe vehicle design we already discussed violations of road safety standards lack of emergency services here yeah, so that all that include in uh, problems in road safety so in road safety management there are flow chart which are given in this uh, slide first one road design of roads so there, there are three things which is include road junction road maintenance inadequate visibility due to that accident is occurred then after vehicle design again there are three factors technical factors speed vehicles and vehicle size and capacity we already discussed it uh, in deep then after drivers behavior that public so there are all four things which is very uh, important in road safety management ticket in this electronic ticket is a more efficient method of ticket entry and process and marketing for commits in the airline as well as railway and other transport and entertainment entertainment industries so means you can easily book or you get easily ticket by the some application that call e ticket or in the airline railways other transportation system and entertainment industries that call e ticket e ticket for air transport provide the following details an official ticket numbers carriage terms and conditions fare and tax detail including fare calculations details some additional data such as tour codes a short summary fees restrictions usually specifying only whether change or refund are permitted but not the penalties to which they are subject form of payment means uh, which type of payment you do issuing offices baggage allowances clear there are total seven things which are included in air transport ticket air transport e ticket clear so what are the advantages of electronic ticketing or e ticketing so first there are cheaper for the airline no piece of paper to misplace because you can save either in your mail either in your phone either in your gallery as part as a well design operation and can reduce processing easy to keep records for business travels less chance of ticket theft e ticketing has streamlined some of the airport check in process you can purchase and print e ticket anytime 24 hours a day you can pay for e ticket with your credit card online without leaving your workplace or home so there are advantages of e ticketing so, so there are some disadvantages of e ticketing if you have some system crash and don't make up appropriately can lose informations here yeah. so you can cannot get a ticket clear due to uh, system crash fear of change so there are total two disadvantages rather than advantages clear yeah. next topic is that called smart mobility you know that mobility so what is the meaning of smart mobility so urban mobility here has been seen as a one uh, important crucial engine for the growth and progress of modern cities due to that due to that urban mobility the cities grow and progress day by day so in smart city mobility which is not refer to movement within a city and delivery of goods from one place to another destination it is a means of technology that wireless communications and real time monitoring to the traffic flow and as well as 
flexible reactions to problem that called smart mobility done so that particular cities are faced rapid modernizations uh, this lead to several congestions deterring air quality increasing incidence of road accident and rapidly increasing energy bill walking cycling have been rendered unsafe due to poor infrastructure and public transport so ease of being able to move one plus uh, one location to another is at the core of smart city like a singapore and barcelona have a sound transport system as a core of their smartness so the transport system emphasize means that particular smart uh, that particular <coughs> transport system of that particular two city it emphasize walking cycling and use public transport as the primum clear yeah. so they can reduce the use of uh, personal vehicle so that smart mobility which include mobility advanced traffic management system that called ads means advanced traffic management system and as well as parking management and last its enabled transport pricing system so that smart mobility includes all the th three things done then how can you improve that smart mobility as we can say that mobility is one of the most important aspect of smart city clear so that uh, city which is worldwide are starting most interesting transformations either through the large structure investment and low cost initiative that act on social innovation and rising public awareness so one particular city which uh, famous by two thing first one investment large structure then second one low cost initiative which act on social innovations and rising public awareness so enhancement and efficiency of that public transport and modernization of related vehicle which can improve the smart mobility then promotion of the use by citizen of electrical car or hybrid car so this is a third reason or third uh, point which can improve the smart mobility enhance that particular government enhance bike sharing car sharing and car pooling policies and there are some system which are uh, used to uh, locate the parking space the next one introductions of interchange parking space the next one introductions of intelligent traffic lights signal lights cycle so there are uh, the thing which can improve the smart mobility clear this is your last topic of your third module thank you